on the bright side is brought to you by Uno, a brand committed with the future. I love technology, right? It helps us every single day. It makes our life easier. Um, the thing is, for me, I, I fell in love with it because I wanted to know the intricacy of uh, that device. I wanted to know how it worked, what components needed to to have what voltage so that it can light up or give your device uh, a certain color or certain features of your phone. Um, I wanted to know what went into it. This is Katrina Garbutt. She's a self-taught electronic technician. She fixes everything, and whatever she doesn't know how to repair, she figures it out. Her specialty is motherboard repairs, a line of work many technicians shy away from because of the degree of difficulty. It's very technical because of the small components that are required to be soldering off and onto a board. Um, let me show you. These are... These are, uh, if you know this, this is like the size of my fingertip. Uh, this is a chip um, that you would, that is required to be soldered onto a board that gives that board the capability of um, powering different parts of the board, let's say. Um, for this, for this, this is the uh, baseband chip for an iPhone XR. Uh, what this does is it gives the phone the capability of having signal. So Garbutt initially wanted to become a doctor, but her knack for micro soldering allows her to see the intricacies of an electronic device in much the same way a physician would see the internal organs of the human body. For instance, you know your body, it has veins, right? And those veins go to certain <clears throat> ligaments in your body. So you take that same concept when it comes to a motherboard, it's the same way. So you're a doctor, but for devices? Yes. From when I was young, I originally wanted to, to go into helping people. Um, being a doctor was one of my thoughts, uh, but uh, due to financial situations, um, I didn't go that route. Um, so I did so in this aspect. Um, everything has a fixer and I'm the doc for electronics. Her mother, Martha Garbage, shared with us that she recognized her daughter was different at a very young age. Well, I knew that she was into technology from a very early age because I remember when they were playing game and, they, and then she would notice that um, something was wrong. She would be the first to run there and see how she can fix it, you know, and was always interested in how this work and how that work, you know. It's a different language whenever she start talking to me about this or saying this, that. I, I tell her, I said, you know something, that's a different language. You know what to do, I don't know, you know. Garbud showed us her workstation where she also fixes televisions. It's not a job she cares much for because of the fragility of screens. This is a small 32-inch TV, mm -hmm. right? So this here is the screen for uh, television. And this board is the driver board that communicates with uh, another board that is hooked up to the back of a television that gives this piece of glass the image that you would see on a television. Mm -hmm. So if you break this, the TV's not going Just to get a new TV. And that's the risk you run when you fix TVs. Yes. The way that I started with this, I started with one soldering iron and a couple screwdrivers and I started repairing or replacing screens on phones and at that time the quality of phones if you could remember you had those little Nokia's um, 
those those would just pop apart and you just need a Phillips screwdriver to take it and open it mm -hmm. but now um, as technology progresses uh, we find that um, you need uh, better equipment to do the job. The upside to having someone in the family who is tech savvy is the fact that everyone takes full being advantage of Katrina's knowledge. When you have a, 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 a tech person in a family, you tend to go to them for everything. What do you go to her for to fix from your phone? Everything. The washing machine, the refrigerator, the television, everything. My phone has something wrong with my phone. Pee in house, what you, you, you know, that, that's what I do. Her love of fixing electronic devices extends to motor vehicles. In her youth, Katrina became the first female certified technician for Toyota in Belize. I did a certi certification test um, in mechanics at Belize Diesel, which I passed. Uh, I was the only female uh, in the entire country that was certified in Belize and to my knowledge, the Caribbean at that time. When it comes to mechanical um, electronics, uh, we don't, like you said, we don't find most females doing this type of work. And it's a social bias when it comes to society looking at females in terms of what they can and cannot do. Um, and as you said, it's something that I strive to break and show the male community or society on a whole that Females are as good as males in um, whatever field they choose, whether it be a male-driven or female-driven field. Looking on the Bright Side, I'm Sabrina Daly. On the Bright Side was brought to you by Uno, a brand committed with the future. From now on, when you visit UNO, you will experience an A-plus power in all fuels. Dynamax has evolved into Dynamax Plus. The new formula with the ultimate technology in additives provides an A-plus power and A-plus performance. Dynamax Plus, available in diesel, regular and premium. Try it today and reach further. UNO, a different energy.